I'm here with Olu Ajayi of CTA at the CCAF seminar on food and nutrition security in Lima. Olu, what is the most pressing of the six issues presented here today and why? Thank you very much. Um, all the six issues are really quite uh, pertinent and very important. But since I have the choice to speak on one, let me, I will talk about the need to scale up proven practices that can help farmers to address climate change. And why? It's because a lot of solutions are there, out there. So we need to really take the one that is existing and see how we can take advantage of what we have to solve the problem at hand. Disseminating information and sharing knowledge is obviously one thing, but how do you actually translate this into action with the CTA? How do you come from knowledge exchange to behavior change? Yes, actually CTA just had um, um, a couple of proposals to kind of look at a lot of existing solutions um, are out there, but they're not being scaled up because one, maybe they're not known, or people are kind of localized. So what we have done is to kind of go through the whole of ACP, the African, Caribbean, and Pacific regions, uh, to kind of get this information of farmers practices, of policies, and use of ICT tools that are existing, and we are proving to show that they can contribute to helping farmers to address climate change. So we're doing that, we're documenting it, so we can scale it uh, uh, up. Disseminating information, because uh, CTA is actually a knowledge, agricultural knowledge um, center, information center, so we are actually a knowledge broker when it comes to agricultural information. So what we're trying to do, what we're doing is to kind of make sure that this information, which are really there, I call them rare gems, which are kind of hidden in the, with the farmers, with the various practitioners, are actually disseminated, brushed up, and showcased to the whole world to solve the problem. What are CTA's activities in this regard? We have this information. When you empower farmers with information, okay, it helps them to kind of have a change in the way they address uh, issues. It helps them to kind of have new arsenal new opportunities, new ways of doing things. So we are trying to kind of open up that opportunity for farmers to have this information and to help them to kind of uh, uh, pick up on this information and these tools. Because these tools will be existing, but if farmers don't know about them, they won't adopt them. So the first step in getting to the outcome is for farmers to know that these things exist, that they work, and that the message is so clear on how they can use them. One example? One example are some of these um, are climate resilient and climate smart uh, practices. We have the example of, of this use of ICT, uh, um, ICT tools which can help farmers to disseminate information on climate change. What kind of crop to plant? What kind of seed to plant? What time should they be planting them? These are things that are not available. Given the fact that if you look at in many uh, countries in ACP, the formal extension systems are broken down. Okay. So we're now using ICTs. We're taking advantage of the fact that in many ACP countries, the rate of internet um, connectivity and penetration is becoming so high. It's actually, Africa, for example, has one of the fastest rate of, of growth in ICTs. And many farmers these days have basic phones. So we're saying, apart or in addition to using this phone to call their children, whatever they are, let's use what the farmers have to can use them as a channel to bring information that can help them in their farming activities and in helping them to address the issue of climate change. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.